Hey guys, welcome to the Listening Academy. My name is Pramod, and today I'm going to give a big on a toss discuss about the three open source test management tools that I have used in the like past, and I would like to uh, give you a point means which one is better, and uh, how how this open source basically test management tools works right. Why the first question before just wanted to ask is that uh, before starting, I would like to encourage if you want to learn about the API testing, do check out this video on the playlist section of this channel, right? If you want to learn about smoke or test, sanity testing or different manual testing concepts, do check out the uh, other videos. And uh, this is one of the uh, one of the uh, great video about the eleven uh, major sites as a QA that you should. Make visit daily right now to increase your expertise especially in a qa world right so that you can do and do watch out and let me know in the comments how uh means how these videos are helping you in this case right so these are the tools that i was talking about right these tools are i have used in the past and trust me guys these are open source alternative and if you guys are still using excel sheets uh to manage your test cases or defect management definitely do look around this uh Means as a startup, people prefer open source tools. Uh, do check out these uh, different tools, right? So let's start with one of my favorite, which is TestLink, right? TestLink. If you go to TestLink, it's a web-based platform to manage your requirement test cases, right? It basically organizes the requirements, specification, and your test cases. Okay, it supports multiple users again, and it's both the Biggest point here is that it's open source. It's free of course. You can install it, right? It's a PHP JavaScript based application, right? You can create test pro. Uh, you basically you can create test pro. Uh, test projects in into it. Uh, attach requirements, map requirements, test plan, test cases, or you can add the different link uh, detection, right? So how it look like? It's look like this. Let me let me focus this one. Right, it looks like this. Where basically it's a web-based pro product, right? And uh, here you can have basically now right now you are uh, in this uh, in this screen you are creating a new project, right? So that's how it looks like. Uh, let me leave the focus. I'm going to show you the demo in this case, right? So let's uh, let's go to the GitHub page of the test link. Okay, so this is uh, again. So a uh, testing new version is coming and that will contain admin panel, which is looks beautiful, right? And it's look like this. Uh, they are mentioning it, right? It's going to release soon. And it contains uh, lots of uh, means if you have a test project that you want to execute, right? And if you want to, if you have requirements, test cases, and if you want to go through it, right? Definitely testing is one of the great choice, right? That you can try out. Uh, all the installation steps are already given in this uh, GitHub page. Do check out it, right? If you want. Right. So let's come to the second one, which is Bugzilla. Again, Bugzilla is again, it's a web based bug tracking system, right? And uh, it contains lots of new features like you can attach, uh, it's a defect. Uh, Defect tracking system, or you can say bug tracking system, right? But here you can also create requirements or certain test cases around it, around your projects. You can uh, save, uh, basically, you can have attachment attached to this, right? You can do file upload, email notifications, different reports and chart. It supports. Uh, you can go to bugzilla dot mozilla dot org to know more more about these bugzilla, right? It supports reports and chart, right? And requirement map being test plan, defect life cycle. So it supports everything, right? Imagine in open source free projects, it's already there. Time tracking, you also there. Watch, you can watch the bugs, reminders are there, right? So this is uh, a typical, uh, let me show you. So this is uh, typically uh, Bugzilla looks like you where you can have a search and uh, other documentations, right? Right now, I guess it's uh, one of the free ones. So I will not allow to do much of the things. But uh, you'll have uh, something like you can create the bugs here. You can basically assign bugs to different developers, different role, administrator role, something. Uh, same thing uh, is uh, already there. Okay. So uh, another one is QA Manager, which is one other interesting one. It's basically uh, it's uh, it's another test management tool 
which and it can keep track of the test cycles also. So if you want to track your cycles, if you have multiple cycles that you want to execute, again, you can upload the requirements here. Uh, you can create test projects. You can have support of multiple test cycles, right? It's a simple web-based system and uh, it's basically used by a software. Uh, QA is right most of the time. You can have uh, tracking of as a QA customer releases that you wanted to do. It's again online test management tool, so nothing to worry about it. You have you have features like advanced uh, search features, certain reports features, right? If you want to see the demo one, I would. Uh, it looks like this. Uh, it's very simple one, web-based projects, not much of fancy UI, but yeah, it will serve the purpose purpose of test cycle execution, or uh, management of your defects, right? And requirement uploading and basically mapping on top of it, right? So uh, these are three alternatives, I would say, uh, not alternatives, uh, three open source test management tools that I have used, I guess, if you are a newbie, or if you are basically not using any kind of a test management tool, I will highly recommend to do look around. These are free softwares and uh, means you can look around for the paid ones also, but right, if you don't want to include those posts and all, definitely go with open source uh, solutions. Just install these tools over these small servers, which can cost you a little bit cost, and you can basically manage your test cy cycles, test life cycles, or any uh, defect management. Right? So that's all about this video and uh, thanks a lot for watching till now and uh, don't forget to share and subscribe if you have any question uh, put them into the uh, put them into the comment right and I'll see you in the next video bye